Hello and welcome back to the Project Corner. Today I'm going to share a neat little trick. It's called creating an own data hierarchy. And to do this, I've created a very simple Excel sheet. And this Excel sheet is a supermarket, a really small supermarket, but it has foods, it has drinks, and it has other stuff. And within the food section, it has fresh, it has canned, and within fresh, it has apples, bread, and bananas. So, as you can imagine, this is a hierarchy because all food uh, consists of fresh foods and canned foods and all fresh foods consist of apples, bread and bananas. So, I illustrated that by the picture here next to the table. Um, but how do we create this in Power BI? Because in Power BI, it will just consume the data and it will create four columns for us, one with sales, product, group and category but we want to have that category contain the groups and that group contain the products and we want to do some fancy stuff with that so what did i do i created this supermarket excel sheet and i called it the supermarket example and i created this in onedrive now why do i do this in onedrive because it has an auto refresh functionality which is very cool you only need to update your Excel and the Power BI will automatically contain the new values as soon as you refresh it. So, and I'm going to show you that, of course, in the end of the video. So let's close up this file for now because I can't have that open when I'm working in Power BI. So let's have it here. So here is our supermarket example. It's part of my project in OneDrive, which is a OneDrive for business, which basically tells you that it is one terabyte of data for a single person. That's way too much. So I have my TPC examples here, and here is the supermarket example project. So let's click on open, and it will gather the information, and it will show me the small little query on the right side. So obviously i need to have my stock table in here and i called this table stock to make it very easy for me to consume just only that data i could alternatively open up the whole page and it will contain only this table because there's nothing else in there but make sure to uh, label your tables so that it is easier to get that information uh, where you need it so let's pick up stocks and I'm going to transform the data a little bit because it consumes the data but is it already in a numbers format is it already without decimals I don't know so currently it sees that it is a number but I actually want to have this transformed into a fixed decimal number uh, to click on replace current because it already was changing items and now you see that it has a dollar sign here so it knows that it is a financial value and the others are all um, text so that is correct and I'm going to click on home and close and apply so once that data is imported it will be very easy to create that date hierarchy so let's first, so let's have the sales and let's have that in uh, US dollars and let's remove the decimal numbers because I'm not very interested in that nitty gritty uh, data. So from the start, you can already see some interesting information. So uh, such as uh, what is the total amount of sales? Well, apparently we're doing close to 40K on sales totals. And we can have a look at the groups and how those groups uh, hold up. So we're selling a lot of alcohol compared to smoking. That's good. Well, is that good? We're selling more fresh food than canned food. That is also good. But now there is no way to drill through the information here. The alcoholic is just the alcoholic. And we don't know what part alcohol it belongs to well we know that it is a drink but the system doesn't know that 
So that's where a um, data hierarchy comes into place. So how do we create that? You can basically drag and drop or you can click on the top level and select a new hierarchy. So that is very good. So automatically category is on top and we can rename this category, uh, this hierarchy by calling it stocks, for instance. And now it's just drag and drop. So category is the highest level. Then you will have your groups and then you will have your products. So now we have created our own little hierarchy. It's that easy. Now keep in mind the level on which it will appear in your hierarchy is dependent on when you shifted it to the hierarchy itself. So why is a hierarchy interesting? Let's recap because if I click on stocks now, I can automatically see that all the categories are in here and we we got everything in here and now if i change this value to to a chart i can click on sales and now we see that it is containing the top level so we had drinks we had food we had other and now there is a drill down option and there's a drill through option and there's a next level in the hierarchy option and you can even start to expand down in the hierarchy. And that was lacking in the first version. So what does this mean? If I click on the drill down option, I will be able to select one of these values and drill down on that specific item. So let's click on drinks and we can automatically see that we have now the alcoholic and the non-alcoholic beverages. So if we click on alcohol, there's whiskey, there's wine, there's rum, there's beer. And I can move up one bit and I can move up another bit and I can see what uh, what's the best sales in non-food uh, related, non-drink related. So papers are selling better than uh, smoking, which is a good thing, I believe. So the books are doing very good, newspapers not so much, greeting cards are even doing better. So this is an individual drill down, but you can also have a look at the total on the second level, so on the group level, without the distinction between what it is. So we have alcohol, we have paper, we have non-alcoholic, we have fresh, canned, and smoking, which is the level down, so that's the group category. Uh, that's the group. Um, and then on the lowest level, you'll have your whiskey, your jus de rance, uh, your e-cigarettes uh, and on the bottom line there's newspapers and old cigarettes so that makes sense in this new age right where newspapers and cigarettes don't sell that, that, that good anymore then there's a final thing that you can do with these drill downs and that's having the hierarchy contained within the drill down so for instance if we have drinks we would be interested in non-alcoholic and alcoholic but we also want to have that category drinks still in there. So here, if I do that now, you see that drinks and it's still alcohol and drinks non-alcoholic and food, fresh foods and food, canned foods. And if we drill down even further, we would be say, seeing that it contains other, it contains smoking and it contains cigarettes. So this is very handy if you want to have the complete spectrum of the hierarchy and you're interested in all levels. So there's different ways to drill down and that is all possible thanks to creating a hierarchy. Let's get back to the other uh, thing that I mentioned briefly in the beginning of the video. I mentioned that because this is a uh, Excel sheet that is on OneDrive, I can automatically get new data in here by just adding that, saving the Excel sheet and clicking on refresh here. So let's do that right now, where I'll open up Excel and I'll get that supermarket example here. And let's add some, uh, some more information. So let's add some 
Let's add some strawberries. Add a new line. I'm going to say food. I'm going to say fresh strawberries. And let's say we sold very well. So this way it's easy to see that that new value is in here. Because it's on autosave, it's now currently saving this data up into the cloud to my OneDrive. And let's give it a few seconds. It's saved. And let's go back to our Power BI and let's see home. And I'll click on refresh. <laughs> it's being used by another process. So let's close up the Excel sheet and let's click on refresh. So here you see that food just got a huge kick and it is fresh that got the kick. Let's see that food fresh. And here you have your strawberries. So that data is automatically uploaded. So that's it for today. I hope you learned how to create your own date hierarchy. If you like this, click on that like button, consider subscribing. I'm very happy to say that I already have 200 people subscribed to the Project Corner. I'm very proud of that and thank you very much for all the confidence. And uh, I hope to see you in another two weeks.